Okay, so let's have a look at finding our interior angles first. I'm going to use a nice uh, red colour. This is our interior angle. This is our interior angle. And this is our, our interior angle. Okay, so can we find any exterior angles? So this bit is going to be an exterior angle. Okay, uh, what else is going to be an exterior angle? So we have this angle here is an exterior, and what else is going to be an exterior angle? Okay, this angle here is going to be an exterior angle. So looking at that, um, we look at the sum of the exterior angles. So this is A plus C plus, uh, in this case, E. Okay, this is equal to sum of the exterior angles is equal to 360. Okay. You can also see some more exterior angles. Okay, so here we have this interior angle. When we extend it, we can say that D is uh, an exterior angle. Okay, here when we extend it, we can say this is an angle here is exterior angle. Okay, and then also when we uh, extended this line. So this angle here is the exterior angle. So we have B plus D plus F is equal to, or the sum of the exterior angle is equal to 360. Okay. So when we add up all those values, okay, add up all those values, so add up on the left and the right hand side. So this is going to be, if we do A plus C plus E plus D plus D plus F, okay, we know this, this is equal to 360, this is also equal to 360. Adding both of them together will give us 720. Okay, so it's, with this all, um, this shape here, we can actually um, move it about. So it actually looks like this. We move this down, so this will be x. Okay, so we have a, a triangle here. Okay, so this is 80, this is 70, and this is x. Okay, so all three angles equal to 180, so 70 plus 80 plus x is equal to 180. Okay, so 70 plus 80 is equal to 150, plus x is equal to 180. So let's subtract 150 from both sides, therefore we get x is equal to 30. Okay, so we're trying to find what x is here. Um, we can actually work out what this angle here is. Let's see. Okay, so t is equal to, um, we know that all three angles of triangles equal to 180, so 180 minus 70 minus x. Okay, so this is equal to, what's that? Equals to 180 minus um, 70 is equal to um, 110. And minus x. So here, this is also going to be equal to t, and let's call this bit uh, z. Okay. So all three angles of the top triangle is equal to 180. So to find what z is equal to, this is going to be 180 minus x minus t, but t is equal to 110 minus x. So let's simplify this expression. It's the same as 180 minus x. We can then expand it. So this is 
minus 110 plus x. The x's cancel out. Okay, so we have 180 minus 110, which is equal to 70. So our z value is equal to 70. Uh, it's here, this is z. And therefore, we can work out what x is. So x is equal to 180, so three angles, some three angles make 180, so 180 minus uh, the 80. And we know what z is, so z is 70. So when we calculate that, that's going to equal to 30. So there's two ways of solving this. Okay, so we want to find a relationship between y and x. So let's start labeling the angles. So opposite angles, so here this is going to y. This the angle here is also going to equal to y. Okay, and since, okay, so we need to have a look at these, these angles here. So I don't know, I'm going to call it uh, T. So uh, for a quadrilateral or four angles equal to 180, oh, sorry, 360, so this angle here is T plus Y plus T plus Y is equal to 360. Okay, do we know an expression for T? Since we have this triangle, I'm going to draw a nice little triangle here. So this is T, this is X, and this is X. Uh, all three angles of a uh, triangle is equal to 180. So T is equal to 180 minus X minus X. 180 minus X minus X. Then we have the plus the Y. And again, we have T is 180. Minus x, minus x, plus the y, is equal to 360. Okay, so let's try to simplify this expression. Um, we have 180 minus x, minus x, plus y, plus 180 minus x, minus x, plus y, is equal to 360. Okay, so we have 180 plus 180 is 360. How many x's, how many uh, negative x's do we have? We have minus four negative x's. How many y's do we have? We have two y, and it's equal to 360. Okay, so we can subtract 360 from both sides. So we will get negative 4x plus 2y is equal to 0. Okay, so we can uh, rearrange this equation. We can add 4x to both sides, so we get 2y is equal to 4x. If you divide both sides by 2, we get y is equal to 2x. Okay, so our answer is a, y is equal to uh, 2x. Okay, so this is an isosceles triangle, so these angles are going to equal, this is going to be equal to 20. Okay, we also know what this angle is here. Okay, so let's call this 20. So since all angles equal, for triangle is equal to 180 degrees, or in two angles of triangle 180 degrees, therefore T is equal to 180 minus 20 minus 20. So that is equal to 140. Okay. 
So if t is equal to 140, we know what this angle here is. Let's call it uh, x. Okay. x is a straight line, so it's going to be 180 minus t. Okay. 140, that's equal to 40. Okay. Again, we have a um, isosceles triangle because this then, this length is not the same. Okay, so if this is 40, the other angle will be 40 as well. So P, P, R, S must equal to 40 degrees. Okay, so we want to find the sum of the marked angles. So we know that this is A, B, C, and D. Some of the interior angles of quadrilateral is equal to up 316 degrees. Okay, so let's have a look at this triangle here. Okay, so this is also going to equal to A. This is also equal to B. Actually, this is also going to equal to C. This is also going to equal to D. So let's have a look at uh, these two um, angles here. Okay, so in terms of A, okay, we know that this is going to be, since it's a triangle, this is going to be 180. Okay, so some of these two angles uh, minus A. Let's have a look at this top triangle here. So some of these two angles, since we know that all three angles uh, and then add up together equal to 180. This is going to be 180 minus B. Next one. Uh, here, the angle, some of the angles equal to uh, 180, so it's going to be 180 minus C. Then the last one, some of these two angles is going to equal to 180 minus D. So, how many 180s do we have? We have 180 plus 180. So we have 720. Okay, then we've got to subtract A, subtract B, subtract C, and subtract D. Okay, this can then be written as 720. If you were confident with your factorizing, uh, this is written as minus 1 times A plus B plus C plus D. So we've got minus 1 times A is minus A, negative A. Minus 1 times B is negative B. Minus 1 times C is negative C. Minus 1 times D is negative D. Uh, we saw earlier that A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 360, so 720 minus 360, or 1 times 360. So this is going to equal to 360. So your answer should be B, 360 degrees. Okay, so we want to find what X is. So this is a straight line. So this angle here has to be equal to 30. Angle of the straight line is, is equal to 180. Um, here we have three angles here. The start three angles of a triangle is equal to 180. So 80 plus 30 is 110. So this must equal to 70. Okay. Then this angle here, so again, straight line, some of the angles equal to 180. Uh, so this will be 110. Okay, here, all three angles equal to 180, so 180 plus 40 is 150, so this must be 30. Okay, this is straight lines, so this is going to be 150. So here, triangle, all three angles equal to uh, 180, so this must equal to 10. Okay. And so this is a straight line, so this has to be 170. So your answer is A.